Hi everybody, thanks for stopping by. My name's Travis, this is Travis Does Kayak Fishing. Fall is here, we are in the middle of a warm spell. It's been, you know, cold, like 28 at night, 30 at night. But right now we're hitting that 40 at night and you know, high 70s, even low 80s during the day during this warm front. So once this warm front's out, we're back to cold and that means I need to be prepared for the, for the weather. Fishing is not fun if you're miserable. If you're on the kayak and you're having a tough time uh, staying warm, staying comfortable, your hands hurt, your feet are cold, you're not gonna enjoy the experience no matter what happens. You're only gonna remember how bad it hurts and you're gonna be so tired when you go home from being cold all day. So you've gotta pick up the right winter gear. I've got some Cast King River Ice, I believe that's it, I don't think it's Ice River, I think it's River Ice, Prim One Camo Blackout Gloves. And what I wanna do is test them. They're supposed to be 100% waterproof. They've got a blackout layer, a neoprene layer, and a fleece layer. So they're expected to be cold weather gloves. They're expected to be suitable for ice fishing. They're expected to be completely waterproof and my hand's supposed to stay warm. I have, I have bad news about how they work with your cell phones. They don't, so if that's important to you, if you're doing, you know, tournaments, you probably need to find a glove with like a peelback finger. They might have one like this, but there's other alternatives out there that have peelback fingers. I'll put one that's popular with my club in the chat so you guys can see that in case you're interested. But this is the Cast King Prim One Blackout Edition glove. It slides on comfortable. I've got the large, you know, I'm not as big as I used to be. I don't need ex extra large. I don't have the chubby hand anymore, but the glove does look really good, right? I don't have a problem with the color. I did check all the stitching, you know, that's probably kind of funky of an angle for you there, but the stitching looks good. There's nothing wrong with it. There is fleece. That tag will get on my nerves over time, but we're not going to wear with it today. Um, it's got the cleaning instructions. It's of course just hand wash, hand dry. Don't iron, don't heat it. But let's do it. I'm gonna stick my hand in here for a couple minutes. Um, I think three to five minutes should be fine. It's 12:21. When this clock says 12:26, I'll pull it out. This might be cold. It's a big chunk of ice. And here we go. So 12:21 at 12:26, I'll take it out. Um, I don't know how much of that I'll keep in the video, but maybe we'll skip around and talk about some things, right? because this winter and fall fishing guys it's so serious last year when i went out i was going out with a pair of gorilla work gloves you know just the gray and black ones you get for like two dollars and underneath them i was putting a pair of blue medical gloves my forearm hit that that was cold but the hands okay um but i was putting blue medical gloves and the goal was a little bit of extra heat and stay warm and i didn't have proper outdoor gear at all right i was out there rocking McGillan wading shoes that are not waterproof. They're water resistant, water repellent. They're not waterproof by any means, no matter what they say. Uh, now I've got some Arctic Wolf boots. I've got some bibs. I've got another pair on the way. I, I want some floating and some heated bibs. Uh, there's a different use case for those, of course. But yeah, I've got everything I need to be comfortable right now, but I do need to improve some. All that to say, you definitely want some gloves, some good gloves, some good boots. I find the most important thing, keeping your feet warm, keeping your hands warm. If you're not keeping your hands and feet warm in the winter, you're just not gonna have fun, man. Even if you stay dry everywhere else, cold feet, cold hands, they ruin it. This isn't bad, like I feel a chill from it, but my hands in ice water, I'm going to. But let's just shut up and time lapse. I'm gonna play on the phone. I don't have much more to say, so time lapse it here for you for a minute. She's a very freaky girl. Mm -hmm. ah, that's awkward. That hurts my arm way more than I thought it would. Let's try and lean on the side. There we go. That's good enough. So you know, I've got another two minutes. Take a look at some of these reviews. Sizing is off and poor workmanship. I will start out by saying the size is okay around the knuckle, but the fingers are very short, about an inch of each finger is not in the finger section. Well, damn, this guy has some long thumbs. I see he's got some long fingers. Uh, I left this discomfort. I let this discomfort go and dealt with it for a bit because they did seem to be waterproof. I only only used them for a few times to do chores outside with my birds, such as changing food and water in the freezing temps. 
and now the seams have come apart at the fingers. I've worn them probably less than five times for a total of 15 minutes. I hope not. They're not made for the cold weather. I'm not sure what purpose these serve, but it's not for cold. My hands are freezing. I don't know about that. Don't know about that at all. Not waterproof, advertised as waterproof, not waterproof. Waterlogged first juice, kept water inside. My hands are dry. Absolute horrible, bought these for me and my son to use during fishing tournaments. They are not warm and definitely not waterproof. Within 15 minutes of being in the rain, they are soaked. I'm wondering if that guy knows that you've got to keep the, the fleece covered up because that's important, right? Make sure your sleeve is coming down over, not tucked in. If you're tucking in, that fleece is going to get wet and soaked. Fleece absorbs moisture, so keep that fleece area tucked in dry. They wore down after a month of use. Jesus, man, what'd you do to those? I got these for a roommate for work. We both work at a warehouse. She works in the refrigerated handling ice. That's why I got these for her. These are fishing gloves. These are not warehouse gloves, guys. Fishing gloves are not warehouse gloves. Warehouse gloves are not fishing. Hey, it's time. It's 1226. That's enough battery views. Let's pull them out. My hand is dry. I can tell you now. Oh, that glove is cold outside. But inside, completely dry. Kind of clammy. They're warm. My hand is warm. I don't, there's no cold to it. Maybe a chill, but you know, my face is sitting out here in the sun. That was in a bucket of ice. I can't say the one star review is right. Let me make sure this one doesn't leak. I'm not going to keep it in there, but just let me make sure it's not like, hey, there is a quality control issue. Let's be fair. Left hand glove now. Uh oh, my hand's dry. <laughs> Moving it around, crunching fingers, fighting a fish. You got him. They're good. I, I can't wait to get them out there this weekend. The unboxing I was going to do, but it's not spectacular. They just shipped it inside this off Amazon, but that's fine. Uh, it's everything you need, right? It's got instructions on the inside of what it is if you need them. But these are good, these are good. I don't have a problem with them. I think you'll probably want fingerless if you're doing anything with your cell phone or multimedia that requires a touch screen because you will have to take them off to operate that. But they did the job in the ice water. Thanks for stopping by guys. Here comes another plane. Hope this helped make a choice. Keep your hands and feet warm. Later. Hey, while you're here, YouTube thinks you like the video on the left. I really like the playlist on the right. Uh, if you like what you're seeing, just give me that subscribe please. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.